Welcome back to another Fallout video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be checking out a weapon that was originally introduced with the Wastelanders update. That's right, we're going to be checking out the Plasma Caster. So any further ado, let's get into it. Now before we check out the mods, the build and go hunt down as many enemies the Plasma Caster can annihilate, let's quickly take a look at how you can obtain it for yourself. Quite simply, there are two possible ways you can obtain the Plasma Caster and that's by either purchasing it and all the mods available for it for gold bullion from regs in Vault 79 after you've completed the main Wastelander storyline, or whenever Minerva is around and has it available in her inventory. Keep in mind though, Minerva doesn't always have the plan in her inventory, as it depends on the week she's actually selling it, so just make sure to stop by whenever she's in town to see if you can pick it up a little bit cheaper. So with the easy part out of the way, let's go and check out the mods and the build for the weapon. With the mods, there are several you can acquire and modify the weapon with, however the mods we're going with today are the Prime Capacitor, so we can now deal an additional 30% damage against Scorched, and with the Prime capacitor this will give us the most amount of DPS. There are a couple of other capacitors you can attach, however as you can see the damage significantly drops off. And finally we have the aligned sniper barrel which will give us faster aim speed and increased sighted accuracy, which in my own opinion is a little bit better if you're mainly using the weapon with power armor, which is the build we're actually going to be running with today, but we'll get into that very shortly. However if you prefer you can swap it out for the true long barrel which will increase your hip fire accuracy and sighted accuracy, however it will decrease the range. Lastly, as of now, there are still no mods available to modify the sight of the weapon, so for now, the standard sight is what we have. Moving on from that, the legendary effects we have of the weapon is the bloodied effect, which increases damage up to 95% as health decreases, plus 25% faster fire rate, and plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. But keep in mind, this weapon is a single shot heavy gun, so having that faster fire rate effect will definitely help in a big way. However, if you're looking for a more of a boss killer kind of gun, I'd probably probably recommend trying to roll something like anti-armor with extra crit damage or plus 50% VATS hit chance. Now onto the build and the perk cards. As I mentioned a little earlier, the build we're going to be running today is a power armor build, but to be specific, we're going for a low health heavy gunner build. But just to note, just in case if you are curious, no, the science perk cards will not affect the weapon damage on the plasma caster, as it doesn't fall under the energy weapon category for these cards to work, so you can forget about using those. However, the main cards we're going to be focusing on will be max rank of all of the heavy gunner perk cards, so that heavy guns will now deal an extra 60% damage. We also have one rank of concentrated fire so that vats can now target limbs. Max rank of suppressors so that you reduce your target's damage output by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack. Max rank of tenderizers so that your target receives 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Max rank of nerd rage so that will below 20% health you'll gain 40 damage resist, 20% increased damage and 15% extra AP regen. Max rank of stabilize so that while empowered power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We also have one rank of action boys that action points regenerate 15% faster, one rank of covert operatives that range sneak attacks do an additional 15% sneak attack damage. And yes, I know you're probably thinking, why this card? Isn't the plasma caster a heavy gun? Won't it break sneak? Well yes it will, however it will break sneak after the first initial shot, so you can land an initial sneak attack which will give you an additional boost of 15% sneak attack damage. We also have max rank of gun foo so that swap targets on kill with a plus 10%, then 30% and finally plus 60% extra damage to your next 3 targets. We have max rank of adrenaline for that extra 60% damage per kill, and also max rank of dodgy so that you avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Lastly, we have max rank of bloody mess for an additional 15% bonus damage, max rank of one gun army so that heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb, and finally we have rank 2 of better critical so that VATS criticals now deal an additional 75% damage. The rest of the build is mainly made up of damage mitigation perks and damage resistant perks, however I would strongly recommend for the time being, and considering fire and energy damage dealt by enemies and NPCs is considerably higher, I'd recommend investing in max rank of fireproof, so you take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. But on the other hand, this is mainly a card I always recommend to use, as it also affects the damage received by Scorch Beast Screech attacks. Now onto the legendary perks. With our legendary perks we have max rank of legendary luck, max rank of electric absorption so you now have a 20% chance for energy damage to recharge your power armor's fusion core and also restore health, max rank of legendary strength, agility and intelligence, and finally max rank of power armor reboot so you now have a 40% chance to auto revive with full health if you're downed in power armor. 
Lastly, this is what your special stats will look like once you've equipped all of your legendary perks. So if you'd like to pause the video here so you can get a quick overview, you can go ahead and do so. Moving on to the armor, we'll be running a full suit of Hellcat power armor with various auto stim and bolstering effects. However, a quick one to note that if you're going to be running any low health power armor build, I'd recommend trying to invest in the Emergency Protocols mod, which will reduce damage taken by 50% and increase your movement speed while below 20% health. Lastly, when it comes to the mutations, I'll leave a full list to the mutations that I'm currently running along with a link to my mutations guide, which will show you how and where to find each mutation along with their specific attributes and effects in a pin comment below. So now that we've covered the weapon itself, the build and the perks, let's go and test this weapon out and all the enemies that Appalachia has to offer.
there you have it, the Plasma Caster. Hopefully today's video helped you utilize the Plasma Caster a little bit better in the Wasteland, and hopefully it won't take you too long to roll one with the effects that you're looking for. But at the same time too, if you found today's video enjoyable, consider clicking that subscribe button for more Fallout content like this, and so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. I want to say a massive thank you to all of our members and subscribers here on the channel, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. For our Bethesda and Fallout fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and would like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTStarfield92 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel and what I do here in a more personal way, consider checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, and other pineapple-related merch, which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, thank you so much for checking out today's video, and as always, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.